boys and girls, it's Mrs. Williams. I hope you all had a really nice time away. I hope you had some fun and I hope you got some sunshine. It's been a long week and now we're gonna all be back together starting tomorrow. So here's a new book for you. It's about a little girl named Lily and her name is Lily Brown and the story is called Lily Brown's Paintings and I'm hoping you can see the story because it's beautiful. Lily Brown's Paintings by Angela Johnson, and the paintings are by E.B. Lewis. Lily Brown loves her mama, daddy, and baby brother and the world they live in. Sometimes she spins around her room thinking about their world, and it's wondrous. But when Lily Brown paints, her world starts to change. The sunlight turns to stars and Lily begins flying around them. All the universe is one big colorful splash. The stars circle the planets in Lily Brown's paintings. Do you see how she's painting? I hope some of you have been painting or doing other art during this time. And sometimes they come down to earth to hang around sidewalk cafes and shine when the sun goes down. She paints many things, Lily Brown does. When Lily Brown paints the trees that she walks past on her way to school, wear hats <laughs> and drink tea on cool days with other trees and shrubbery. They know Lily and they bow to her. She puts hats on the trees, that's funny. When Lily Brown paints fruit at the corner market, it is striped and polka dotted. It speaks to people and then it laughs out loud. When people put the fruit in bags to take home, the apples sing all the way there. In Lily Brown's paintings, the path to the park becomes a wild animal living room with antelopes lounging and alligators on the phone. Lily always remembers to draw them a treat. In Lily Brown's paintings, softly blowing rose-colored winds bring voices from across the ocean to tell stories that she has never heard. Then she listens and paints with blues and orange to let the wind know she has heard them. Sometimes Lily walks around in her paintings or sails away through fields of red corn and purple painted skyscrapers. In Lily Brown's paintings, the colors of people, places, and things change with her heart. People walk upside down and buildings on streets dance with airplanes flying above. And it's another world. Lily paints all that she sees and feels her own way. She puts her world of color and light on anything she can find. It's magical. But at the end of the day, when Lily Brown is about to put her paints away, she remembers her mama's smile, her daddy's eyes, and the way her baby brother holds her hand before he goes to sleep. It's their world again, and it's wondrous. So girls and boys, I really hope that you are doing some magical things with art, with whatever art supplies you have around the house. And I hope that you're going into your own world of dreaming and imagery because we all need to do some fun things during this time when we're not together. And we need to do art. I think art is important. So I hope to see many of you on Zoom or some other sort of chatting this week. And for those who I don't see, know that I love you and I miss you. And I can't wait until we're together again. This is very hard, but we will get through it. Take care, Mrs. Williams.